If you looked at a map of Earth in 2025 and compared it to a map in 2080, you would notice one terrifying difference, the coastlines. By the mid-21st century, rising sea levels were no longer a prediction, they were a reality. But humanity didn't just give up and drown. We built the greatest engineering structures in history. Welcome to the age of the great sea walls. In 2080, cities like New York, Tokyo, and Amsterdam are protected by massive smart concrete barriers. These aren't just dumb walls. They are intelligent machines. When the ocean remains calm, the gates stay open, allowing ships and marine life to pass. But when satellites detect a storm surge, these Titan gate seals shut in minutes, holding back millions of tons of water. Some of these walls even use the pressure of the ocean waves to generate hydroelectric power for the city behind them. But defending against the water was only half the battle. We also had to fix the air. Walk through a park in 2080, and you might see strange, tall structures that look like modern art sculptures. These are artificial trees, or direct air capture units. While real trees absorb carbon slowly, these machines suck carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere thousands of times faster. So, what do we do with all that captured pollution? We don't just store it, we recycle it. In 2080, captured CO2 is turned into synthetic rock for construction or converted into carbon-neutral aviation fuel for the few rockets and planes that still fly. We also launched the Global Reforestation Drone Army. Swarms of autonomous drones have spent the last 30 years planting billions of trees in areas humans could UND easily reach, slowly turning deserts back into green zones. The climate of 2080 isn't perfect. It is still hotter than it was in the 1900s, and the weather can still be wild. But we did something the people of the past thought was impossible. We stopped the warming. We stabilized the planet. The 21st century was about breaking the earth. The late 21st century is about healing it.